Hi, it's Paula and welcome to my beauty reviews. Today, I'm going to feature a line that's a little bit pricey. It's actually, it's very pricey. But I heard about it through Courtney Cox on YouTube. She did a video on it and she absolutely loved it. So here I am, barefaced as usual, with a little bit of moisturizer, which I have to use because of my dry skin. And this is Kohendo. It sounds like Kojindo, but it's pronounced Kohendo. It's a Japanese line that's actually made in Tokyo. And we're going to review the foundation and then also the concealer. The claim to fame for this is that it has mineral pigments that are supposed to kind of blur the skin to make it look translucent and beautiful. And then also it's buildable coverage. It, like I said, is not cheap. This uh, is, when I bought it, I think it was $80. It's now $99. And the concealer is $63. But I will tell you that a lot goes a long way. So let's shake this up and give it a try. Um, let me tell you a little bit more about it. So it says it has a mafanchi uh, finish. I'm not really sure what that means. I assume it has something to do with the fact that it is feels lightweight, but it is buildable. So let's start off with just a little bit, because I always think less is more, especially, I need to adjust this, especially as we get older, I think. So I'm going to start with just a little bit right there. Can you see that? And then the way I do it is I just kind of dot it, dot it on my skin. I just don't want to ever use too much. So... There we go. And then I apply mine with this incredible makeup brush by Marc Jacobs. It's it's fantastic. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Somebody's trying to text me. All right, so let's see how this works. So I'm just, I usually do like circles, you know, and then a little bit of dabbing when I put on my foundation. Try to go everywhere with the dabbing and then a little bit of the circles. And so you can see it definitely, it definitely gives you a little bit of brightness, which is nice. And it does feel like it's buildable. I like the way it feels. And I'll tell you so that we don't have to come back that I've worn this all day and it doesn't turn orange. The color stays true. So it feels really good. If I wanted to build it, let's just say I wanted to. So like I said, a little bit goes a long way. So let's do a little bit more here, here. The other thing that it says or that it claims is that it will not um, settle into fine lines or crease, which, you know, we all want that, right? Especially when you're almost 60. feels really lightweight, which I cannot stand, and I know you probably feel the same way. I can't stand a foundation that feels heavy. Just, I won't do it. Or that looks heavy. I think that that, especially as we get older, that really ages our skin. So, uh, what do you think? I think it's pretty. It has a nice glow to it. Um, I like it. I don't like the price, but why is this doing this? I don't like the price exactly, but it does. A little goes a long way. And this is the bad thing to tell you. This is 0.7 ounces. So typically a foundation would have, I think most of the ones I see have one ounce. So this is 0.7. So it's a little bit more. But I've been using it off and on for a couple months. And I, I you know, it's I still have like half a tube at least left. Now this is the actual... Um, this is the concealer, and let me show you. It's I like that because it just has the little um, foam brush on the end, and it also says it's weightless feel and buildable coverage. So I just kind of go dot dot dot, and I always put some on my eye area because I have some little veins. And then this fabulous brush. This is from Elf, and I love it as a concealer brush. You can just see, I just kind of work it around in circles and tap, tap, tap. Especially those that have like a luminescence, you want to want to kind of tap it in 
who can see me okay. Oh, uh, and then I can definitely tell that there's a little bit of a, a glow. It's not shiny. Um, having my dry skin, it doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel cakey. I'm trying to bend down so you can see me. Uh, so there we go. So that's it. I think it's very, very pretty. I could probably blend a little bit more. But for me, this is a win. It's expensive. You can get it on the Kohendo website. Oh! And then also Neiman Marcus, uh, Macy's, Saks. I don't think you can get it at Sephora or Ulta. But if you're looking for a high-end foundation, I think that this is a lovely one. So give it a try. All right, I'll see you guys next time.